Now, live from your local news source, this is ABC 27 News at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Kayla Schmidt in for James Crummel. The Pennsylvania primary isn't until next spring, but one of the top Republicans hoping to be president is swinging through the mid-state today. Ron DeSantis will be at Central Penn College in Somerdale. That's where we find our Dennis Owens. Good afternoon, Dennis. Good afternoon to you, Kayla. A steady stream of attendees have been showing up here at uh, Central Penn College in Enola. There is some security out front, as you can see. We are expecting uh, Governor DeSantis to speak about 12.45 and uh, depart about 2 o'clock. Now, you may be saying to yourself, wait a minute, Pennsylvania's primary isn't for six months at least. He's not going to be asking for Pennsylvanians' votes for at least six months. But today, He's here looking for Keystone Cash. Uh, DeSantis, of course, as you mentioned, the Florida governor. Polls suggest he is the chop choice among Republicans behind former President Donald Trump. He's going to speak to about 40 or 50 donors. Organizers tell me they are hoping to raise about $100,000 today. Of course, Pennsylvania, as I said, is not in play for a while yet. Uh, right now on the books, the primary is set for April 23rd of next year. But of course, as we told you, uh, the Senate committee moved a bill to back that up to March 19th. That has yet to be settled. Um, but uh, DeSantis is trying to make some inroads in the Commonwealth uh, apparently pretty early, a sign that he thinks he's still going to be in play whenever the primary gets around to Pennsylvania. Many of the uh, Republicans in the field will not be in play. They'll be long gone by the time Pennsylvania matters. But DeSantis is sure he'll still be in play. I want to hear about his success story in Florida and how it's going to how he can carry that over to the United States as a whole. Because, uh, again, I feel that if he can do it in Florida, he could do it for this entire nation. And that was the head of the Cumberland County GOP, Lou Capozzi, also in attendance today. Senator Greg Rothman, who represents this district right here, and former Congressman Lou Barletta, both of those uh, uh, on board the DeSantis train, at least at this point. Kayla, that is the story, expecting him to arrive about 1245. There might be critics who are saying, wait a minute, Florida just got ravaged by a hurricane. What's the guy doing up here in Pennsylvania raising money? Capozzi noted that his events actually were pushed. He was supposed to have some other events earlier. He pushed those off, and the uh, uh, afternoon arrival here is uh, taking some of his uh, responsibilities in Florida into account for that. So that's the story. We're going to see who all is coming in here. We're going to talk to them uh, after they come out to see what uh, uh, Governor DeSantis said. We did ask for an interview, by the way. He is doing no press. This is a fundraising trip only. He is uh, doing no interviews, but we did ask for that. Mm -hmm. uh, Kayla Schmidt, that is the story from Enola awaiting the GOP uh, governor of Florida and presidential candidate Ron DeSantis. All righty, Dennis Owens, thank you very much. Great reporting. We know you'll stay on that story for us.